Seatbelts are one of the most important safety features in cars. Having saved so many lives, it could compete with the likes of modern medicine. A lot of people think that seatbelts only work from the brake that activates if the seatbelt moves too fast. And, well, they aren't wrong. But without Professor Isaac Newton figuring out the laws of motion, the theory behind how seatbelts work wouldn't exist. So how does Newton's laws of motion, along with impulse, momentum and energy, apply to seatbelts? Before we answer the question, let's learn the history of the seatbelts. The seatbelt was invented by George Cayley to keep pilots inside their gliders in England and was first implemented into taxis in New York 1885 to keep passengers safe. And what was so special about the seatbelt? Well, instead of two straps, there's three. But see, this third strap was important because it stops people's lower half from their body detached from the other half. Okay, maybe not to that degree, but it was designed to protect the lower half of the body in a car crash. When the rest of the world saw how many lives this revolutionary design would save, they put the seatbelt design into most cars and during the 1970s, most countries made it compulsory to wear a seatbelt at all times. Fun fact, Victoria, right here in Australia, was the first country to make it compulsory to wear a seatbelt in 1970. Now that we've learnt about the history of seatbelts, it's time to find out what Newton's laws of motion are and how they relate to seatbelts. Newton's three laws of motion govern how objects move. Newton's first law of motion states that an object will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless acted upon by an external force. The external force is typically the friction of the ground against the object or an obstacle. This is why objects never stop moving in space. Newton's second law of motion states that force equals mass times acceleration. Using this formula, not only can we calculate force, but we can also find the mass and acceleration of an object by rearranging the formula. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. A great example of this appears in the film Wally, when he uses a fire extinguisher to push himself towards the spaceship. Two laws apply to seatbelts. The first law is when a person is lurching forward, and the third law is when the seatbelt exerts a force back onto the person. Other than Newton's first and third laws, there are also three other factors to how seatbelts work. Impulse, momentum, and energy. Momentum is the measurement of the strength of an object and how hard it would be to stop it. As an example, if you were to hit a tennis ball, to find the momentum of it, you would need to multiply its mass by its velocity. Impulse is measured by how much the momentum of an object changes due to a force acting upon an object. Going back to the tennis ball example, if it were to be hit back, you would find the impulse of the ball by multiplying the force exerted onto the ball by the time it took for the racket to hit the ball. There are eight primary forms of energy. Kinetic, thermal, light, electrical, gravitational potential, elastic potential, chemical and nuclear. Keep in mind, energy cannot be destroyed nor created, it can only change forms. The momentum found in a seatbelt is the person lurching forward and then going in the opposite direction from the seatbelt's brake activating. The impulse is found when the seatbelt is holding the person from moving and then sends them back. The types of energy that are found are the kinetic energy of the person sent forward, the elastic potential and kinetic energy of the seatbelt holding and then reversing direction of the person, and the kinetic energy of the person after being affected by the seatbelt. Seatbelts have been an integral part of car safety for many decades and have many physics related laws that allow it to function properly. Its origins were in England, and within a hundred years, it became mandatory to wear a seatbelt in a car. Newton's first and third laws of motions apply to seatbelts. Impulse, momentum, and kinetic and elastic potential all play a role in how seatbelts function.